Hi, Recon, if you're still here. Well, hello. It's like, oh, Ronan, how you doing? That's a surprise. Nice to see you. Hey, Ken, how you doing, buddy? Let me give uh, Ronan mod here. Ronan's an old buddy of mine from a long time ago. He finally decided to jump in and join us. Well, I've been going through a lot of stuff here, Ronan. Uh, I haven't caught up with you to catch you up at all, but uh, my son's gone back in for another heart open heart surgery again, but they've had to delay it. Because the hospital has been jam-packed with people, so he's still waiting. Yeah, I noticed you hadn't been around in a while. I've been kind of watching for you. Hello, Jennifer. Ronan, Jennifer is my daughter. She's my oldest daughter. Yeah, me too. Well, he don't log on any anymore anyway, but uh, yeah, he's uh, in pretty rough shape. Jennifer Ronan is one of my admins from my channel on Discord. She just became a grandmother, Ronan. Well, I guess the, they had some other problems with some uh, really emergencies that were even more critical than he was. So he got put back in line uh, to get his open heart again. You are? Wow. Well, congratulations. That's pretty young for a grandfather. Believe it or not, Ronan, uh, Crazy Rabbit was here last night. He might be here again tonight. I was shocked when he came on. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he may be popping back in here again tonight. I think he might be. He may, he may see him before you leave. He spent quite a while here last night with us. In fact, he's thinking about doing a channel on YouTube now, too, on programming, on teaching people how to do some programming. I thought Quasi was way younger than me. Come to find out, he's actually older than I am.
I kind of half expected Spade to come on. Yeah, Crazy Rabbit's uh, 67. No, yeah, 66, rather. 66. I'll be 65 in May, so he's older than me. So how does it feel being a grandfather at 38 years old? I wouldn't know. They held off a little while for me. <laughs> Although maybe not, maybe not. I might have had a granddaughter when I was 38, 39, something like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Well, you're still married into the family, so I guess you're uh, you're going to be a grandfather anyway. Pretty soon they'll be calling you a papa or grandpa or whatever they call them in Puerto Rican. Yeah, I kind of thought I might have been 40, Jennifer, but I wasn't sure. Huh, and below, huh? Never heard of it. Must be Spanish. Well, I'm glad to see you made it again tonight, Ken. Uh, Recon was here and left a message and said he'd be back. So Recon will be coming back at some point. <laughs> so is that this month you became a grandfather? Well, not exactly, but I'll I can talk to you about it some other time. But no, there's definitely some things going on. Oh, I see. Yeah, Jennifer. But you're a grandmother now, too, so you should feel old. <laughs> so the baby's so the baby hasn't been born yet, I take it, Ronan. Better save some money up, Ronan, because they'll be they'll be wanting all kinds of things at that baby shower. Well, they might have that child on your birthday. You might get the, you might have a grandchild for your birthday. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that.
Hey, Ronan, have you seen or even heard from Dante in the last two or three months? Seems to have disappeared. <laughs> yeah, he did text me about two months ago, I think. Said he was doing okay, but he was taking care of his aunt and mother, I think. And they're, I don't know if they were ill or what. Yeah, I tried to call him a couple of times, see if he was doing all right, but no answer. He has a he has one of the internet phones, so it's about impossible to get him live. I got a feeling he is. I think he's, I think he probably is going through a big depression again. Yeah, you might have to go shake him up a little bit. You probably been looking at that old guy in the painting I did for him and he turned into him. Well, you can have all the snow. I don't need any of that at all. I had plenty of that when I was in New Hampshire. No, you don't, Jennifer. You just think you do. Get a postcard. I loved it when I was a kid, too, but now that I'm older, I have no use for it whatsoever. That's what I said. Get a postcard. That's right. You're a young grandmother. I forgot, Jennifer. No. I... Well, see, today it was about 75. Maybe it was warmer than that. But we had, we had a lot of wind today, though. So that kind of kept it from getting real warm. I could have rode my Harley if I had wanted to, but I didn't. Really? Well, that's nice. You just, maybe, maybe she don't like snow as much as you do. I think we're supposed to get rain tomorrow by about 1 o'clock. Yeah, she definitely likes it warmer, no doubt about it. Yeah, I bet she don't like that snow at all. I don't blame her. I've been to Puerto Rico before. I went over there and spent a couple of weeks over there. I was going to take a job over there in a shipping business. So I was in San Juan and old San Juan. That was a long time ago.
I think that was about 1974. Yeah, I'm, I'll be 65 in May. Semi-retired. Well, I still have to work, but I do get Social Security now, too. I was dumb. I could have got disability, which would have been a lot more money, but I didn't think it through very well. It won't be long, Ronan. You'll be 60 before you know it. Um, I'm told that you can't. Switch from uh, back over to, to uh, disability. At least that's what I was told. Really can. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, my father's, his birthday was in May too, but he passed away seven years ago. But his birthday was the same day as mine, May 31st. The same day as yours, Ken. Yours is May 31st too. All righty, if I'm on there, I'm not sure I will be or not yet, but I'll try to be, Ronan. Have a good one. I appreciate you coming by. I can use all the help I can get over here getting some uh, viewing time. I need about 1,500 hours. Okay, we'll do that, Ronan. Have a good one, bud. Thanks for coming. You can tell them other bumps to get over here, too. I haven't even played over there in months. Yeah, most of the people around here, Jennifer, are your age. Minnie, Brock, Recon, all of them. Recon should be on. He said he's coming back, but we'll see. I started at 10.45 today. I almost went at 11 again, but I figured what, what was the point? Mother just get on at 10.45. They'll either come on or they won't.
But I still forgot to get a hold of Brad to try to get him to come back on again. No, he's probably here. I almost went to Wisconsin once. I had a friend up there. Yeah, it's a it's a nice big white blanket now in Wisconsin. No, thank you. Oh, believe me, it does get down that cold here in Florida, too, sometimes. Not for long, but it does get down that cold. You said you liked the snow, Jennifer, so... That cold is part of it. Well, you must have got you must have got quite a bit then. It snowed that long. That sounds like about six inches of snow, maybe more. Well, hello, Dylan. How are you? Ken Dylan's my grandson. That's Jennifer's son. Yes, Dylan.
You're up late, huh? Well, it's not very late right now, I guess. You're old enough to be up this late. I'm okay. Ah, okay. Don't forget to hit the, like, the thumbs up up there, Dylan. You have to actually close the chat thing, and then you can hit the thumbs up. Okay, well, I didn't change you up. Should be six, but it's not. It's only five. Try it again. I don't know. There it is. Seven now. You're playing your guitar today, Dylan? It says seven now. At least it does on my end. No, why not? Did you learn any songs yet? The whole song? Huh. Says so seven on my end still, but maybe YouTube's still going nuts. Well, that's good. House of the Rising Sun's a good song. Yeah, I'm still showing seven now, but it may change at some point. Seems to happen every day, Ken, doesn't it? We get on for about a half an hour. Well, we get some people on fairly quickly today, but um, before a lot of the other ones come on, it's usually about a half an hour later. How old is it going to be, Ken? You gonna have a big party for him? Wow, yeah, he's getting up there. He finally hit 21. How about that? He's gonna want to go out and have a drink at 21. Seems like they all do. Mm. Yep, gotta go have that first legal drink at the mall. You don't, that's too bad. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> oh, that's why. Okay. You have a grandson in the army. He was in Poland, and then he moved him to um, Greece. His wife is in the army, and she was in South Korea. Now she's back in the States. Hopefully he'll be coming back to the States here before long with her. The army lied to him. They said they were going to put him together at the same base, but that never happened. Not yet, anyway.
I'm surprised you can't uh, at least do an online chat with you or something on Facebook or something, because my grandson can do that. Oh, really? Welcome back, Recon. Yeah, we had some in here again last night, too, but you weren't here to help me. <laughs> Minnie put the hammer down on him, though, and Ken probably. We had about four of them in here last night again. And Recon Dylan there is my grandson. We had we had one in here last night that was a troll that was uh called herself puppy something and somebody else was with her saying that she can't talk and she can only uh, bark and whatever and it was stupid. Well, I thought it was the people from India doing a lot of that uh, trolling themselves, but maybe not. I'm sure they do their share. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised it's people from India at all. It doesn't surprise me a bit. Yeah, they like to uh, they like to cause a little bit of chaos themselves for sure. In fact, Florence was on last night again. I guess she couldn't sleep again. It was like 4.30 in the morning over there for her. Huh. You are too? Yeah, Ken said he got a lot of snow all last night, I guess, and today. Y'all can have the snow. I don't need any of that at all. If I want to see snow, I'll look online at a picture of it. Right in a nice warm house where I am. <laughs> Don't forget the rattlesnake and the coral snakes, black snakes. Yeah, we got plenty of snakes. So how many feet of snow you got now, Recon? You got a foot yet? I 
I would imagine Ken's got quite a bit of snow up there too altogether. And it's not over yet, I'm sure. Oh yeah, we have black races down here. Oh yeah. They're actually worth they're worth money here in Florida. Well, you catch you out. You're catching up with uh, Ken, then. He's got five or six inches already today and yesterday. Well, we used to live in the White Mountains up in New Hampshire, way up. We used to get snow drifts that are eight, ten feet deep. In fact, I remember being buried under 18-foot snowdrifts back in the 60s, and they had to dig us out with backhoes. And bulldozers and everything else. Well, hello, Backfire. You're from, you're from Jaffrey, huh? Yeah, well, great. I actually lived in Jaffrey for a short time when I was a kid. But I was born and raised in Keene. And my aunt was in a nursing home there in Jaffrey. She was there for, gosh, about 18 years, I think, before she passed away. Yeah, I think that was it. Good Shepherd. Yeah. Her last name was Matson. You might know some of the Matsons over there. They were the, they actually were from Troy, New Hampshire. My cousin Jeffrey might have lived in uh, Jeffrey for a short time. Yeah, I, I lived um, in an apartment up there. My mother had an apartment up there once. And I remember when I was a kid, I worked at a horse ranch for a short time. And there was a lake across the street from where we lived. I used to go fishing for pickerel over there. In fact, my grandparents actually lived in, in uh, Jaffrey, but that was a long, long time ago. They're both they've been gone for a long time. And my uncle. Goodbye, Dylan. See you later. Well, you get stuck in the middle, huh? Free gone? <laughs> really? Well, that's interesting. My my grandparents' last name were Todd. And my uncle George Todd also lived there in Jaffrey. But I think he met his wife Vivian there. Okay, Jennifer. Man, the name sounds vaguely familiar, but not really, but Yeah, that's my daughter, uh, Recon.
Yeah, Jeffrey was a nice place. I always liked Jeffrey. It was a nice small town. I have four kids, 15 grandchildren, and two great-grandchildren. How many you want? <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that backfire. You come to the live chat. Um, were you are you interested in uh, painting, or you just see the chat and drop in? Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up button up there. It definitely helps the channel a little bit. I appreciate it. Well, I teach painting, so be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that the bell there so you get notifications on the live. I'd love to have you in here again. Um, I'm actually going to mention your name to a couple of my relatives. They may know you or know your family. Oh, cool. You like you do murals? Great. Love to have you here, um, for sure. Definitely come and join us whenever you want to. Um, we've been having more of a vlog chat lately, trying to uh, get things rolling a little bit better and stuff. But I definitely do have some chats um, that are geared more painting. And I'd love to see your work sometime. Drop a, a link on my um, channel up there with, in a comment um, so I can go check it out if you have a, a site or something. I teach several different styles. I, I teach the wet on wet just to give some people some confidence, but I do traditional painting. I do knife painting and things like that too. So I do several different methods. I paint in oil and a little bit in acrylic. But I've been an, an artist for over 40 years. So. In fact, I might get you to come on sometime, maybe after we, we discuss it sometime. Maybe you'll come on as a guest artist sometime, if you like. Oh, cool. Well, look down in the description. You, you can see my email right there. In fact, I can post my email here real quickly. And you can uh, definitely send me an, an email with some pictures. I'd love to see them. There's my email right there. You can send your pictures right to that email there. And I'll be glad to look at them. We've got some great people that come in here all the time. And we talk about anything, including art. Um, we even get some trolls that pop in once in a while, but we usually get rid of them pretty quickly.
Excuse me for my ignorance, but what is a one percenter? Gotta ask if you don't know. Oh, okay. Now I now I know. Now I know. Yeah. Yeah, I ride a bike too. I ride a Harley Electric Glide, a limited edition. So yeah, I should have recognized that myself. You know, especially because I go to Leesburg every year normally, and I've been to Daytona before. I should have known. It just wasn't ringing the bell. I missed Leesburg this year, but um, maybe I can make it next year. I don't know. And yeah, down here in Florida, it's mostly the Banditos and other, a lot of other smaller clubs. Of course, Banditos go all the way over to Texas. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, we get relatives up in New York, too, up around Troy, New York, and in that area. Ken, are you still here, buddy? It's not showing your name. You must be still here. I don't, I don't know. I didn't see you say goodbye or anything, so you must be here. Excuse me. That's cool. That's good to know. Okay, I couldn't see you there, Ken. Glad to see you're still here. Recon, do you ride a motorcycle? I never did know. Uh, you never told me. Are you leaving Ken already? Are you gonna Are you gonna fly planes? <laughs> I mean, my bike seems like it's uh, it weighs a ton now because of my age, but I still do ride. Yeah, we've been going for about 51 minutes now. 
I'm surprised the uh, Mini and 58C Brock haven't jumped in yet. Been a pretty good night so far. We've had you know a few. There she is. She snuck in. I can't believe it. Hey, Manny, how you doing? You're in the shadows, hiding. Huh? It's funny because I just looked at the participants up here on my screen, and you weren't there. So you surprised me. How about that? Yeah, sorry to hear that, Recon. I've had some close calls before. I had a girl, a young girl sideswipe me one day trying to go around me. That's the worst I got it, but I was lucky. Well, Minnie, Jennifer can tell you all about laundry. She's doing a whole bunch of it for us tonight. Our wash machine broke down. She got saddled with about six loads from the group home here. Seven loads, who knows? In fact, we even got another one of my friends that logged on um, that came in, Minnie. Shocked me, and if the uh, guy I know on uh, Discord, actually, I, I posted a link over there today, and he jumped right on. I couldn't believe it. Surprised me. <clears throat> that probably only covers the first bag, don't it, Jennifer? Well, she's a sweetheart. She knows our washer's broke down. We've been waiting for another part to get here for it, and uh, we had to get some laundry done. So she volunteered. Crazy girl, I tell you. She's crazy. There you go, Ken. Thank you. Yeah, and I've always had the idea that uh, it's, you got to watch out. If you're a biker, you got to watch everybody. Because nobody else give a, gives a dang about you. They're driving on four wheels, and they could care less, most of them. And that's unfortunate. That's why I like... Um, I made sure I had loud pipes on my Harley. When I first bought it, they were quiet. And I just about got clipped by my own wife. And I'd just been telling her I want to get some louder pipes, and she was saying no. And when she almost nailed me, she said, go home and order them, because she couldn't hear me. Um, I don't know if he did or not. He might be just listening. Yeah, it looks like he left. 
At least it's not showing up there in my list. You still here, Backfire? Wow, he was lucky. He was lucky he didn't get killed. When I was younger, I remember falling asleep driving once on a motorcycle. I woke up just in time to see a telephone pole coming at me and barely got out of its way. Barely. My best friend and I up in New Hampshire, <clears throat> we used to ride up there. We were headed home one night. Um, not that far, it was, but it was really dark out. There was no moon that night. And on the way home, we used to wear communicators. And we saved each other's lives many times using them communicators, talking back and forth. And all of a sudden, my buddy... There was happened to be a yellow um, speed limit sign, a slowdown sign, or something, and it disappeared. He told me immediately. He said, "Pull over, stop right now." We both pulled over at the same time, put our bright lights on, and a moose was walking across the road, and we would have hit it. We were very lucky. Because a moose will kill you on a motorcycle. I've seen it happen. It is a big old bull moose. Yeah, Ken, she's seen alligators before, without a doubt. She wanted to check the clothes, Ken. She'll be right back. She's doing some washing. Mm, excuse me. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I found out, of course, obviously, a long, long time ago. There's some good bikers out there. A lot of them can be rough and tumble, but once once most of them are your friend, they're your friend for life. They usually are. They're pretty good people. And I used to know the vice president of the Banditos down here in Florida. And there's thousands of them. And all I did was I helped him one day. I was driving this giant van where I worked. And he's broke down. He's with the secretary of the club. And I loaded his, his Harley up. He, uh, he was driving a Sportster. And threw it in the back of my van. Brought it to my house because I used to do mechanic work. Ripped his carburetor off and cleaned it out. And cleaned the jets out and everything. Put it all back together and got it running. He was my friend for life after that. And every time he came through town, and he lived a long ways away, he always stopped to say hello to me. Always.
I must be lagging like crazy again tonight. When I speak, it seems like it takes forever for you guys to ever hear it, evidently. Just makes me dislike AT&T even more every day. I swear if we ever move, which we may be soon, I'm going to find a place with cable, if possible. Yeah, I've heard of the outlaws. I've seen some of the outlaws. In fact, down in Leesburg, I've seen outlaws down in Leesburg even. They've driven all the way down to Leesburg for the biker fest. <clears throat> Why do you think that the trolls might show up tonight, Ken? Well, if they do, we know what to do with them. We can get rid of them. You can tell real easy because they always talk nonsense. They don't make any sense at all. Most of them act like juvenile delinquents anyway. Somebody starts complaining about somebody, you pretty much know it's going to be a troll starting trouble. I need to think of a code word to tell everybody for all you mods to let you know to just stop getting rid of them, I suppose. Don't, that way they don't get time to do anything stupid. They'll just be gone. No, I needed about 1,500 hours of watch time. That's what's, that's what's stopping me from being monetized is the watch time. I need a little bit less than that now, but not much less. Probably about 1,460 is what I need. 1,460 hours is what I need. I would have it by now if people would watch the whole video instead of watching just a minute or two, I'd already have it. But a lot of people aren't watching the videos all the way through, and that's doesn't help me at all. Yeah, yeah, I figured they did that. It doesn't surprise me at all. They can be tracked, though. I'm sure YouTube has a way of tracking them from changing their names and whatnot. <clears throat> I'm not sure if YouTube looks at MAC addresses or not, but if they do, then they can definitely ban them, get rid of them, IPs, whatever. Of course, if you have a dynamic IP, it's you can't really ban it. It has to be a static IP to ban it. You can ban a dynamic one, but all you got to do is reboot your router and it'll change it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I mean, as long as they're not too disruptive, it doesn't really bother me. They're just giving me view time. And I said that already. I mean, if if they're not being a real pain in the butt, 
we can ignore them most of the time and just let them give me view time. I don't care. Yeah, we saw them pop into Brad's there once in a while, too, and we got rid of them. Although he was pretty fortunate. He didn't really get that many. You know, I don't know. Some people get their kicks just being idiots, I guess, being disruptive and trying to make trouble and whatever. You know, they just get their kicks that way, I guess. Pushing the boundaries. Go interrupt a bunch of people in a good channel and then go brag to their friends about it, whatever. It's all a game. That's the way they look at it as a game. But they thought about it the way I do, do, they probably wouldn't come here because the way I think about it is you're giving me free watch time. I don't care. I can ignore you easy enough. And we can put you in time out plenty of times if we need to. And just keep on getting a, getting view time. Well, they sure as hell ain't seeing, seeing my watch time way up there because mine's way down. Oh, wow, that's fast, Jennifer. Thank you. I can only tell you who I want to win, Ken, and that's, of course, Tampa Bay Buccaneers because I'm from Florida and I like Tom Brady. So that's who I want to win. I know he's won plenty of times, but I want him to win again. But we'll see when that day comes for sure. Well, I know the Scratch community and anybody that's live, but my numbers are low. I mean, look at what we got here now. We only have like why would somebody want to come in and disrupt this channel? There's only, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five people here. It's not worth their time. They're not going to get any reaction out of five people. Not really. They're not going to interrupt much. Well, maybe six now. I see a sixth person. I'm not sure if they're coming in or not. No, somebody was maybe trying to, I don't know. Well, I, I definitely was a uh, Patriots fan. My, my being a fan for the Patriots is not so strong anymore though since Tom Brady left if you know what I mean of course he took Grunk with him so you know well Recon I think YouTube's algorithm hates me because it sure as heck isn't really doing me any good, I can tell you that much.
Yeah, we all like Tim Tebow. We hoped that he would go a lot further, but it wasn't meant to be. I mean, Tim played. He he had a shot at at the, the Patriots even, but he just couldn't quite cut it what they needed. I really think Tim should have switched positions and and went into to be a halfback or a fullback or something like that. I think he would have had a, probably had a better career in the NFL instead of insisting on being a quarterback. But that happens to good quarterbacks all the time. Look at Danny Warfel from the Gators. I mean, he got into the NFL and, and he didn't do very well either. It just wasn't their cup of tea. You go, Minnie. You go. Definitely. Yeah, it's raining like crazy. I can hear it. It sounds like Niagara Falls. Looky, looky at what? Oh, quantum. Hello, quantum. Hmm. Well, this is an artist channel, Quantum, so I think you're probably lost. Alice in Wonderland is another channel. <laughs> we don't do trolls, I can tell you that much. Tell him good night, or many. Well, the statement that you just made is a troll statement. If you looked at the channel, you just saw it's an art channel. Well, that sounds good, Jennifer. I guess I could have let him stay for a while if he wanted to, if he behaved. I could use the time. But that Cinderella statement right off the bat pretty much blew it for him. You could have had some chop suey here, uh, Jennifer. Your mother had all kinds of chop suey left over when you were here earlier. or a ham sandwich or ham and cheese sandwich or something. Yeah, I'd say so. Maybe he was friends with the cat in the hat or whoever is down there in um, Cinderella land. Go ahead and let him chat for a minute. If he can behave, then uh, 
he's welcome to, to uh, chat as long as it's something intelligent. If he's going to say anything that's not intelligent, there's no reason to. So quantum, you can chat as long as you behave and speak intelligently. We don't do we don't do troll stuff. Okay, thank you, Recon. So where are you from, Quantum? Probably. I can tell you in a second. Now he's still here. At least he's showing up as being here anyway. I guess I don't mean he is. Yeah, I knew he would be. That was a long time ago, Jennifer. We all just like to eat, that's all. Simple as that. Thank you, Jennifer. I just believe anybody can do anything they want to do if they put their mind to it. <laughs> yeah, we all like food. Can't live without it. A lot of people like that, Recon, food junkies. I, I like to munch myself a lot on whatever. Just keep me away from the Twinkies. I'll eat the whole dang box. <laughs> Uh, quantum left. That's too bad. My goodness. That sounds like the same kind of meal I'd eat, Recon.
I'm a meat and potato guy myself. No doubt about it. Minnie, are you still doing washing too or whatever it was you were doing? No, you'll never speak again anymore either, uh, Krishna. He's all yours, Recon. <laughs> uh, I guess his buddy Quantum must have sent him. Oh, Minnie got him this time. Oh, Minnie had to get on get in on the action. Well, we've already had too many trolls today already, so and that's the kind of thing they type in here, and we don't appreciate it. So but if you want to talk about anything normal. We're more than willing. This is an art channel. We do talk about art, painting, oil painting, acrylic painting, things like that. But we talk about other things too. Yeah, we don't like the trolls here, that's all. But you can hit that thumbs up button like everybody else. We appreciate that. Ah, finally got done, how huh, many? All right. If you're closer, many you could help Jennifer with the next five loads. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's going to be I think not coming up here soon <laughs> okay Minnie thanks for coming by I appreciate it you have a good night okay and take care We'll see you the next time, tomorrow most likely. So have a good night. Yep, definitely always a pleasure to see many. Yep, stay warm for sure. Stay warm and healthy. <clears throat> I'll be right back guys I'm running to the restroom real quick so y'all can talk amongst each
Yeah, have a good night, Minnie, if you're still here. I had to run to the restroom. Oh, well, I, I missed that comment, so evidently it wasn't a good one. I guess I'll just have to report them to uh, YouTube. <laughs> well, she would definitely make some French toast for you, no doubt about that. Yeah, we've had we've had enough of you, uh, Krishna. I've already reported you to YouTube, so they'll probably be banning you now. So, have a good day. Go away. I reported him to YouTube. They'll probably end up banning him. I've I sent a number of complaints already. Her, him, whatever it is. Well, it's been an hour and a half. I guess we might as well all just shut it down, I guess. And uh, I was hoping that uh, a few more might drop in. He's not going to do that, Ken. He's going to just be a real pain in the butt. Well, you can stay on for a while more if you want to. I don't mind. I just have to go out and do something real quick, and I'll be back in a minute. But y'all can stay. I don't mind. Um, y'all can handle the trolls for a minute. I'll be back in just a few minutes. I've got something i got to do. So, But go ahead and stay, Jennifer. As long as the guys want to stay, I don't mind. So I'll be right back. You can stay if you want, Ken. I don't mind. I'm just, I just have to leave for a few minutes. But um, you can stay. I don't mind at all. I guess uh, you all can talk to each other while I'm gone for a few minutes. <clears throat> I won't. I'll be right back. Okay. I'll be back.
Alrighty, I'm back now. I wanted to close the door for my wife and the curtain here because she's going to bed. And I didn't want to bother her and uh, grab some coffee. So I grabbed me some coffee. Oh, sunshine in the 70s. Hello, sunshine. Yeah, two dollars a gallon is pretty cheap, without a doubt. Sunshine, where are you from? H X F Anderson. Ah, that's good. I don't remember banning you, HXF. I haven't seen you tonight at all. Maybe you're confused. I don't know anything about that particular movement at all. Maybe you can explain it to us, because I don't know anything about it. That's fine. That's fine. What do you paint? Never heard of it. I guess we could always Google it. Ah, Dolly. Well, I teach several different methods of painting. <clears throat> I paint, I teach the wet on wet style like Bob Ross as a basic beginner type of a thing. But I also teach traditional painting like the masters and I teach knife painting. I trained under Michael James Smith, if you know who he is. He's a very famous artist from England. And I also trained under Leonard Avmoff from Russia. Well, we talk about art some, but we have it. It's pretty much a vlog type open chat. But we do discuss art. This is an art channel, but um, so I'm we're willing to talk about that too. But we talk about other things too.
most of the people here in their 40s and up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we don't we don't like to be offensive to anyone and we don't want anybody being offensive to us, that's all. We just try to be nice and pleasant and discuss whatever comes up that everybody wants to discuss. Except for politics. We don't get into politics very much. Good. Good. Well, you're certainly welcome to come back anytime you want to. Um, feel free to subscribe to the channel and uh, click that little ring bell, that little bell for all, and you'll get the live notifications. All right, well, have a good night, Jennifer. We'll talk to you tomorrow. I'm one of the people that believes that anybody can paint if they truly want to. I don't believe painting is based on talent. I believe it's based on the desire to want to paint enough to have the patience and the confidence to learn how to paint. And I know this is true because I've taught people that were in their 80s in nursing homes before they would never picked up a paintbrush in their life. And they've done some really wonderful painting. What did you paint, Sunshine? Did you paint an acrylic or oil or did you do landscapes, portraits, still life? I also do knife painting, which I think I mentioned that. So is it safe to say that you did more like uh, impressionism or abstract painting? Acrylics? Mm -hmm. I prefer oil myself, but I do use acrylics too. Because um, people want to learn how to use acrylics. But I've never been much with abstract myself, but I have friends that are artists that that's all they paint is abstracts. And they do very well with, with painting abstracts. I really do think abstracts or impressionism is a very good talent because it's not as easy as people think. <clears throat> Painting an abstract has to have a balance. And if that balance is not there, then that abstract painting is going to be garbage. The colors have to, to complement each other. There needs to be, there, there is a certain organization involved in an abstract painting. And it has to show a lot of interest and in, in keep that person looking at that painting and getting some type of a meaning from it. So I do think there is definitely a lot of people that are very drawn to abstract. I 
I've tried to paint some abstracts, but they were horrible. And that's being honest. If you subscribe to my channel, you can look. And uh, there is one video that shows a lot of my paintings. And you can uh, check out my website right there. And uh, you can view a lot of them there. Good night, Ken. Have a good night. Thanks for coming. I really appreciate it. Great chatting with you as always. And I look forward to seeing you again. <clears throat> well, if you're, if you're really interested in painting sunshine, then you should probably do it again. People don't become artists overnight. They have to practice and, and learn. They learn every time they paint. Yes, they probably should learn some of the technical basics. Um, you've got to begin someplace. So technical basics, I would take as learning about the um, color. Some color theory will help. Learning about what you're going to be painting on, what kind of surface you're going to paint on, the tools you're going to use, the paint brushes you're going to use. Learn the difference between good paint brushes and bad paint brushes how to clean them properly, take care of them properly. So, I mean, that's all part of the, the beginner experience. <laughs> Stick man. You could probably do it better than you think you can, Recon. Anybody can paint. They just have to put their mind to it. You just have to have some perseverance, a little bit of time to sit sit down and, and relax and and just start. I didn't have anybody to teach me. I just sat down and that's what I did. I just got some painting supplies and stuff and I just started. And every time you paint, you get better. Every time you make mistakes, you get better. Because you learn not to make the mistakes again. Or you learn how to correct those mistakes. It's always a learning process. And I've been painting for like 40 years. I still learn to this day something. Every time I do a painting, I still learn something. EM, yep, we all believe in God, I'm sure. We don't believe in trolls, though. Well, I don't think the beginner experience is a hard nut to crack. You just have to take it a step at a time. It's like walking. You have to crawl before you can walk. You have to walk before you can run. There's no skipping in between. EM, this, is, this channel here is mostly about painting and art. 
We do talk about a few other things here, but we don't do this. We don't do the troll thing here. So if you want to stay, then you'll have to be more respectful and just chat with about what we're chatting about. If you want to talk about God, I'm sure there's some religious channels out there that you can go to. This isn't the one. Well, we can't. It's just you and me, and I guess sunshine and um, who else? HXF and EM, which is we haven't determined whether he's a troll yet or not, or she. <coughs> So it sounds to me like uh, it's probably about time for us to just shut it down for the night anyway. So since my wife went to bed, I don't want to keep her awake much longer anyway. So she has to get up at like uh, 6 o'clock in the morning. So I think that's what we'll probably do is just shut her down. I thank you all for coming tonight. I appreciate it. Recon, thanks for coming again tonight, as always. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. So have a good night, buddy. And I think we'll just shut it down. Okay, you stay safe and... Uh, Take care, too. If you guys that are new in here like to, I'd appreciate you hitting that thumbs up button before you go. And and uh, definitely, if you're interested in art, subscribe to the channel and watch the videos and like, comment, share, all that good stuff. And have a good night. <laughs>